free pit in the first match. And then there's the Ganny Hathor that he really likes to draft. But Faint Memory knows that, and he's going to be digging into Top of his unit pool. We're finally seeing it. The match that we knew was going to happen, but didn't know it was going to be happening in the loser's bracket. Topa V and Faint Memory are ready and waiting in the pick ban phase of loser's match one. Guys, take it away for that pick ban phase. What an exciting loser bracket match we have. Topa V, Faint Memory. We're going to see some big plays right now coming from these two men. Pre-bans are going out. Yan Hong, Vanessa, it's expected. As expected. Topa V does not have the Vanessa. Faint Memory does not have the Yan Hong. We know Topa loves his Yan Hong, and Topa's very scared of the Vanessa. So Topa now is first pick, and is going to take the Hathor as expected, as usual, from Topa V. Faint Memory snagging the Gan. He's splitting it apart. Goes with the Fran as well. Waste no time. In thinking about it, goes to the Fran and the Ganymede. Topo V is likely going to take Adaptus here because he knows Faint Memory likes to use it. Topo V actually has Will Wounds compared to Faint Memory's opponents. So Topo V is weak to Daphnis, needs to take the Daphnis now. Uh, so we're going to see that Daphnis come out, maybe a Ciara to bring a speed lead into play or a Ciara later. Ciara Okeanos, he's taking that first turn with its speed lead with a very fast Okeanos. Interesting here, and actually Topa V laying the Hathor Oki, very smart picks, knowing that Fate Memory does not have a Josephine. We noticed his monsters were a rating of about halfway there, so he does not have a Josephine, so these are two good picks. Fate Memory makes that response with Daphnis Verde Heal, very good draft together. Really like Fate Memory's team, Topa V showing that little bit of control. I do like that team, but it opens Fate Memory up a little bit to the Water Monkey King with a ban on the Fran, so Topa V is probably thinking Water monkey and maybe his patented Antares that he likes to use to Luxac a lot. So we'll see if he takes that Antares here. Topa V wrapping up his draft goes with a Triton against Faint Memory. All out aggression here and Faint Memory says I don't care about your aggression. I'm going with the speed lead of Jemire here. I love Topa V's draft. This signals to me that Faint Memory has to be banning that Sierra because he has double speed lead and intends to outspeed and snipe a unit with that Daphnis. Well, let's see what Faint Mem and Topa ban here. Jemire gets banned on Faint Memory's side, and Faint Memory bans out the Triton on Topa's actually, side. Actually, good move here by Faint Memory banning out that Triton, so we'll see if that Daphnis is able to live, but uh, Topa V does have that Hathor Oki. Lots of control there. Lots of, that of control. Speed leads go out. Topa's got the 24, though. Can he take first turn? And he does with Okeanos. But that Daphnis is moving in front of every other unit, so he needs to control this. Daphnis is going to knock out a unit right now here. Those are some beautiful stuns on the Ganymede and the Fran as well. We see the defense break on Hathor. Can he remove a unit at the start of the match? Hathor holds on. So not quite enough damage here. So Fate Memory is actually going to go to sleep. Despite his Vertihal being on Will, it is not enough. Topa V is going to put him to sleep. Reducing the attack bar of Verdiel, hopefully, and then putting everybody to sleep there. And there it is. We see the resistance on the Fran, though. Bomb goes out on the Fran. He does not want to set this up and wake everybody up. We see a first skill come out. He does not need to. He's going to put the Spear of Devastation onto the Fran here. Fate Memory is going to lose his Fran off the bat, and he's on a two-turn sleep on everything else. Oh, another Vile Brock coming from the CR. Bomb's coming out on Daphnis now, choosing not to double bomb the Fran. And Fate Memory's getting TO'd here. He's getting lit up with... Bombs. He's in a lot of trouble. Topo V with the commanding lead. Fate Memory's under too many sleeps here. Topo V is just going to pummel out damage before Fate Memory can do anything. There it is. Nice attack break onto that Fran as well. Fran's going to die to that bomb. There's not enough HP on that unit to keep it alive. There goes Fran. She drops. So at this point here, this Water Monkey stuns up the Vertihal. Oh, Fate Memory, no man. way to come back in. Topo V taking commanding leads here against Fate Memory. Bombs coming out onto the Vertihal. He does not set the off, choose the attack bar boost. Round one goes to Topa V. Topa V with a fast win in the losers match. That's what he loves. He loves those CC heavy comps. Whenever I hear Topa V's name, I think of crowd control. Yeah, and I think in that game there was a little rough. I think maybe he should have thought about banning that Sierra a little bit longer, uh, just because um, it allowed the Okeanos and Water Monkey to move in front and stun up the entire team. It kind of put him in a weird spot. Interesting to note, Topa V uses very little will wounds. Yep. So, right. kind of, uh, Daphnis is less, it's not as good of a pick in this in this matchup here. Mm -hmm. Very true. We'll have to see if Faint Memory can make an adjustment. These players are ready in round two of Loser's Match. Take it away, guys. This is a very important match for Faint Memory <laughs> right now. This is everything. He <laughs> needs to win this match against Topa V, unless Topa V can 2-0 the favorite. Faint hey, Memory's visa application is relying on these two matches here. Fate Memory takes away the speed lead from Topa V. 
Oddly so enough. Pre-bans that Hathor. And pre-bans that Hathor. So knowing that Fate Memory has first pick, we're going to see it. Yan Hong coming out from Topa V because he loves to use that unit and will abuse it. Fate Memory will lock in that Vanessa, but later on because he knows Topa V does not have it. So Fate Memory will have turn one this game. Taking his time with that one. Went from Ganymede, swapped right to the Fran, allowing Topa V to take Gany and Yan Hong. Interesting picks here, and Topa V is actually going to go with the Verd probably after the Ganymede, uh, because Verd and Fate Memory's hands very dangerous. So, but Fate Memory taking the Fran here, I'm not sure about that one coming out on the first pick. It does leave him wide open to Daphnis or makes his Daphnis stronger. There's the Daphnis and the Okeanos coming from Fate Memory. If he's able to snipe out a unit on Topa V side early in the game, it could heavily favor him immediately. And Topa V here is free to take that Water Monkey King as we've always seen him do, uh, and then ban that Fran and just allow that Water Monkey King to go to town. We're definitely going to see a Yan Hong here though, because Yan Hong is just one of the best units in the game, and it's great at this point in the draft. Ooh, Yan Hong Josephine, interesting draft. A little more control on Topa V side. Very dangerous coming out from Topa V. There's a lot of threat, and again, Fame Memory with that Lucia to lock down this Vertihal. Great pick here. And if this Josephine is not on Will, it, it is subject to being reset by the Okeanos. So we'll see if Fame Memory, what else he goes. Goes with that Water Monkey King. We have not seen Fame Memory's Water Monkey King yet, I don't think. I think oh. he needed to take that Water Monkey King. That was unit Topa V was just about to draft, I think. I agree as well. Water Milky King's great pick, but Topa V is going to lay a Diana here, likely. He's going to lay a Diana because Fate Memory is very weak to Diana in his draft right now. With Water Monkey King and Lucia, whenever you lay double water, Diana comes out. It's a lot of damage, and Topa V's Diana's procced a million times on me before, so I know he knows that that is on triple violent runes. It is a very good unit in this draft. I think we're seeing a Daphnis ban. There and it you is. are right, though. <laughs> wow. We nice. have a Daphnis ban. Topa V did not want to fight that Daphnis and lose a unit off the bat. Yep, and I like the ban on uh, for Faint Memory banning out that Diane. I think that's the correct ban, having those two water units there. We see the resistance and the accuracy leads ah, going out for these two men. Winner may move forward here. If Topa V can steal this one from Faint Memory, can Faint Memory hold on? First turns going out. It's going to be Fran on Fate Memory's team. And actually, Fate Memory's entire team goes before Topa V, so we'll see what he resets because he intends to... Ooh. Oh, big resistance going on to that Yan Hong. Unfortunate. Yan Hong's resist lead just too powerful. Resist that. And now Water Monkey needs a proc, does not get it. He was able to sleep that unit. We see Josephine taking an additional turn here because of her passive. But Topo V needs to threaten with the kill right now because right now he need, he can reset and he can do Blade Fans, but he does not have Burst and Fate Memory has a lot of heals. And Topo V has a lot less heals. Yep, definitely does. But strong heals at that. So we're going to find out who he resets here. Goes to the reset on the Okeanos, dumps the attack bars. Maybe he can get a stun with this Josephine. And he does onto the Fran does get that stun from that Josephine. That's a lot of damage on the friend. And at this point here, uh, Fate Memory really needs that Water Monkey King to stun up the entire team. Yep, charge Vitality onto Ganymede. We see the reset going back onto that Yan Hong. There's that combination between the two of them. Yeah, it does. It's a very powerful combination that Yan Hong has skills up, so it's going to be able to pick up a unit and full attack bar at will. Goes to the stun on Okeanos, does not get that stun. We're going to see a heal here. We're definitely going to see a heal. It's likely going to be onto the Fran to be able to boost the attack bar up. That's the function that he's going to do. Or I guess the Okeanos is fine again to boost the attack bar up. Look at you see who's going to be targeting next. I'm wondering, I think he really needs to drop either the fur heal or the Yan Hong immediately. Yeah, not but sure he's going to get a chance for that just yet. The shields are a little too large here, and at this point does not want to poke the Verd in case of a Revenge Sun. Great stuns by Faint Memory's Water Monkey. Double stuns onto that Yan Hong Verd heal. We see attack break onto that Josephine. And he actually does lower the attack bar, so it misses the sleep. Zone. Misses the sleep onto Josephine. And the Verd also procced, so Topa V's team gets an entire another turn. Talk about luck. That's really lucky. Getting that Provoke onto the Water Monkey King, popping that passive with the first skill stun. And if this Ganymede procs, it's all over. Does not proc. Fate Memory should be thinking about resetting this Ganymede because a full turn sealed magic would be too much to handle. And he needed that reset, got that reset as well. Fran here is going to be able to lay up. Ooh, Whoa, really nice file proc, able to boost up his team. Can he lock down the Fran? Can he get the second chance to lock down Fran? Lands, now he landed the Provoke. We've got Yan Ong here. We can either charge Vitality to go for that big second skill. Finishes off Fran. 
highly unlikely for Faint Memory. That was a lot of damage because that Josephine rocked. So Faint Memory in a lot of trouble here. Does not have enough heals anymore. Does not have attack buff. Does not have enough damage on this Water Monkey to get through the burst of Yanhong. Alter Ego coming out onto the Vertiel. Vertiel taking a lot of damage here. Can he Vile proc again and boost even more attack bars against Faint Memory? Does not get the additional turn. Looking for a stun. Does not receive a stun. Charge Vitality's coming out. Yeah, and at this point here, Topo B's just got so many heals, so much offensive pressure from this Vert. This is where Vert snowballs. It's going to take the tournament away from Faint Memory here. Ventilate's coming out onto the Yan Hong. There's that combination we keep seeing from them. Third skill's coming out. Just a passive up, and it is up. No return stun onto the Okeanos. And the Lucy here not doing enough this game. Unfortunately, not fast enough at the same time. Uh, his Water Monkey King not doing enough. That Water Monkey King is wants to stay home in Canada here. Fate Memory's not going to be able to make it. RNG not favoring him this game or at all today. Not at all. He's really proving the amount of luck that he has right now, and it is zero on Fate Memory's team. And this Water Monkey King, as you've seen, is not on crit damage, so does not do enough to take on this bird. When this bird goes again, that's too much attack bar for Topo. There it is. Topi drops that Okeanos. Not looking good for Fate Mem. Fate Mem's going to need some crazy amount of Vioproc. Does get that freeze on a Verti heal. Blade Fan comes out, does a ton of damage to that Water Monkey King. He needs to drop Verti heal here to start something. And at this point here, there's there's no coming back from this. This is pretty game over. Topo has got this in the bag. So Fate Memory. Setting that Water Fairy. He can't get anything up right now. No Strip Provoke onto the Water Monkey King. So we're going to see that bird drop here, but at the same time, uh, that Yan Hong, well, we, we might have a chance. That was a great vile proc into a heal as well. Can we get an AoE stun? We do get the stuns up. Josephine's passive gets proc He really needs to handle this Water Monkey King and control that. Another vile proc coming from Josephine. No stun onto that Water Fairy. Can we get a stun here? No stun. Cracks that shield. Vile proc from Ganymede. He's going to reventilate. Or not. <laughs> or not. Should have reventilated the Yan Hong because the Yan Hong does move in front. He has to sleep the Yan Hong because Yan Hong does too much damage. But this Josephine's just been non stop proccing. Needed that provoke, landed that provoke, return stun, vile proc from the Water Monkey King. We're gonna see a third skill coming out. Can he drop the Josephine? And it is not over yet. This no, Ganymede... it is not over yet. He almost had that Josephine. Ganymede's gonna be up here. Do we see the ventilate? Not yet. Chose to go for glancing damage onto that Water Fairy. We get a vile proc from the Water Fairy, finishing off that vile proc on the Yan Hong. We're gonna see Charge Vitality come out. It is not over for Fade Memory. But the Yan Hong has a lot of damage from the Blade Fan here. It might even take out this Water Monkey right now. Oh, just goes to the strip, gets the additional turn. Charge Vitality's coming up. And we have wow. got Ganymede here. Go Going to reset. Yanong, no, goes for the reset. On the water, water Monkey King. Does a ton of damage, drops those attack bars. This first skill may finish off, and he does so! Faint Memories got one unit to go all in here. And actually, this Elusia is glancing, so it cannot do anything to the wind unit. He has to go for the Yanhong here. I think Fate Memory's gonna try and hold on with this one unit. He's gotta keep Yanhan locked down, and right now he's doing that. Yeah, Topo V is, oh, lucky proc there. Oh, does. so many procs for Topo V. No stun, gets the additional turn though. Can he stun? He does get the freeze. We see Glancing, another vile proc from Ganymede again. Glancing comes oh. out, additional turn from Yanhan, finishing off Fate Memory. Topo V 2-0's him. Topo V with the 2-0, moving forward in the bracket.